Psalm 30 verse 3 says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Your joy will come in the morning. Your joy will come this year. That your long-awaited expectation is going to speak forth this 2024. Because you have waited long enough on this mountain. It is time for you to move forward. You will move forward in this 2024. Yes, your joy will speak. Men shall celebrate you this year. Everything you have been waiting upon the Lord for in this 2024, heaven will give it to you. Heaven will smile over you. You're going to see the mercy of God over your life. You will see the hand of God. This video says the result will shock you. Yes, the result of your expectations will shock you. The way God is going to manifest in your life this year will shock you. The way heaven is going to show himself mighty in your life this year will shock you. The way the answers of your prayers will come this year in your life will shock you. God is going to show forth in your life the way you have never experienced it before. You will see the mercy of God. If only you can do this, I want to show you now. The results of your expectation will shock you. Every debt in your life will be cancelled. God will speak. Men will hear him and they will come to your rescue. You will see the mercy of God in your life this year. Just be patient and watch this video to the end. Peace be still. You will see what God is going to do in your life this year. Through this video, you are going to watch. Be patient enough and you will see the hand of God in your life. Welcome to my channel. My name is Marvelous. In this channel, we share the word of God. We pray and we show you the way of the Lord. We show you tips of how to pray. And when you pray according to the will of God, he answers you. I will show you spiritual remedies of things to use. What are these things are going to use? They are the things you are going to find in your environment, even in your house. Use it by yourself. Pray with faith. Call upon the God that you know. And you will see that God showing himself mighty in your life. As you do so, God bless you. Weeping may endure for a night, but your joy is coming forth in the morning. What are your plans for this year? What is it that you have already placed before you? So many people, when they come into a new year, they say, new year resolution, new year plan, new year this. At the end of the day, you see yourself that it's not working the way you expected it. You have marked out a plan for the year you have planned what you want what you want and how you want it to happen and before the year we run in the middle you'll see that you're not seeing anything you're not experiencing anything why is it happening i will tell you the result will shock you god is a god of secrets he revealed his secret to the one that he loves are you a lover of God? Have you made up your mind, your mind to serve God this year? That is the one thing I will tell you. Make up your mind to devote your life, everything about you to God. In the book of Psalm 23 it says, chapter one, sorry, the verse one, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. Who is the shepherd of your life? Who is the one that is directing you, that is taking you? Who is the one leading? Someone must be leading you. Some people, their friends are leading them. Some people, their colleagues are leading them. Who is leading you? Whoever that is leading you this year determines your end. So if you can make God to be your leader, that means your end will be, you will end well. The year, all your expectations this year will be fulfilled will be answered, will be granted. Because God, you cannot put God in your boat and the boat will sink. It's not possible. So please, in everything you want to do this year, let God be the one in charge of your life. And you will see the hand of God. Let me tell you, the result will shock you. The result of what God will do this year in your life will shock you. It depends on you. It is how you take it that determines how fast the speed is going to come. The way you take things, 
the things of the spirit, what you want, determines how fast the speed is going to come. See what I'm going to show you today. I want to teach you today the power of waking up in the night to pray. Please make up your mind that this year, 2024, see, by fire, by thunder, my expectation this year must be granted. Let it be in your mind. Let it be in your subconscious. Let your goal, your plan this year be in your head. Then try to put God in your plan. When you put God in your plan, it will not prompt you to do what? To be prayerful. How do you communicate to God? It's not through prayer. And it's only God that can help you. Go to any man made whatever they will disappoint you, you will come back devastated. They will even add more problem to you. But when you devote your life to God and your time and everything to God and allow God to lead you, you will end well, my dear. I'm telling you out of experience. Make up your mind to wake up in the night to pray. Bring your strong reports before God. Your plan, your purpose. All that you want to achieve this year, present it before Jehovah. Write it down on a plan sheet. If you can take over this thing seven days, non-stop prayer, seven days aggressive prayer, Seven days, I go make come prayer with all your hearts, dedicating everything to God. You will see the outstanding result of what you're going to see will shock you. Our God is a God of miracle. Using Psalm 35 to pray. Plead my cause, O God, with them that want to say no to me this year. Plead my cause, O God, with them that want to stop my speed this year. Lord, in this area of my life, I need speed. Lord, in my place of work, in my career, in my endeavors this year, Lord, I need speed. You are praying to God. Say, Father, plead my cause. Let no power stop my speed this year. Let no force stop my speed this year. Let no force from my father's house stop my speed this year that power for my foundation let it not stop my speed this year oh god i want to move with speed i want to attain my greatness this year i want to see results i want to see your hand i want to see your face i want to see your manifestation in my life oh god show forth glorify your name that the world will know i'm serving a great god see see let me tell you let me tell you see desperate situations need a desperate measure if you don't follow things with desperate hearts in prayer, God will not take you serious. It is your desperation in prayer that determines how heaven will take you. It is your desperation in spirit that determines how God will involve your situation. It is your desperation in the spirit that determines how heaven will assist you. He said, call upon my name in the day of trouble. I'm going to answer you and you are going to glorify my name. That is the word of God. God is not exaggerating. God is saying his word. And remember, the word of God is God. The word of God is yea and amen. He said, I have, I have honored my word above my name. God cannot lie. Let all men be liars and let God be the only true God. Whatever he says he will do is what he will do. The matter lies in your hand. How you want this said to be, it depends on you. Make up your mind. So many of us will sleep like anything. Why are you sleeping? The Bible says, when men slept, the enemy came and saw tears. That time you are snoring and sleeping, they are making meeting on your head. That time you are snoring and sleeping, they are doing meeting in your shop, in your office, they are taking decisions in the night. That's your colleague, you don't know where she belongs. Your neighbor, you don't know where they belong. Yes, we see in the physical, we talk, we chat, but in the thing, in the spiritual realm, you don't know who they are. That's why the Bible says, children of God should be wise like serpents. You have to be wise. You, 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 you take things anyhow, but they don't take things anyhow. If you know you are a child of God, please just say, be careful the way you live your life. Be careful because the battle is going to be so swift. 
Hey, be careful. The battle is going to be so rugged. It's only, Bible said, those that know the God they serve shall be strong and they will do exploits. Are you a child of God? Are you strong? Are you ready to face what is coming? Are you ready to face what is coming? Are you ready to face what is coming? It takes a determined heart. It takes a rugged heart. It takes a heart of a soldier of Christ to do what? To conquer the battle that is coming. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Don't joke with your identity as a child of God. Don't joke with your identity. Be strong. Determine to live your life for Christ. Determine to live your life for Jesus. Determine to surrender your life to Christ. Determine to live a victorious Christian lifestyle. Determine to be on the right path. Determine to be a child of God full of integrity and honesty. Don't play a hanky-panky Christian. Don't try to play Christianity. Please be real. Be real in everything you do so that when the battles start coming, heaven can back you and trust you. The result will shock you this year if only you can do the right thing and be on the right side of God. You will see the mighty hand of God in your life. Please decide now. Decide now. Decide now. Because your life must make meaning this year. It depends on you. It lies in your hands. You are the one that will decide it. No one else will do it. Please, as you do this, God will keep encouraging you and keep blessing you. The grace to walk and war in this time is released upon you. The grace to be a child of God, a victorious one, is released upon you. The grace to take over the battle and move and conquer is released upon you. God himself will take over and give you back in. As you do this, God bless you. Do you find value in this video? Do you love what you see? Please do wait to hit the like button. As you're doing that and you love this video, I want you to share this video to your friends and families. As you're sharing this video, you are sharing an, a, 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 a Christ to the world. Yes, you are giving somebody hope to live again. And God will keep elevating your life. Do you have anything to share with us in the comment section? Please put it down. I also am interested. I will learn. Are you seeing myself for the first time? I have not followed us on this channel. Please do well. Subscribe to this channel to the glory of God. And as you're subscribing, please press the bell button. Anytime I upload a new video, you can get notified. And as you're doing this, God will keep increasing you. And keep elevating your life forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. I'll see my next video. Jesus Christ loves you. Remember? I too, I love you. Thank you for watching.